Hello guys, this is Becca, and I am back in my nursery. Sorry about the shaking of the camera. I should have had all that done before I turned it on. Just trying to get the tripod fixed. We are here with my sweet little April. And we are going to change her today. Uh, I am feeling some better. I don't feel the best, but I do feel better. Um, mainly if I just sit still. <laughs> if I get up and moving around, then I start feeling bad again. I, I was in my craft room earlier trying to do some diamond painting and I got to feeling so bad that I couldn't handle it. I had to come sit down for a little while. But guys, I have been without my babies since Monday. Well, actually Sunday. And uh, this is Saturday. So it's been almost a week that I have been without my babies and couldn't handle it any longer, so I said I'm going to come in here and change your baby, and then I will take this one baby out of here with me, and if I have to wipe them all up and, do, and sanitize them and all that, I will, but I've got to, <laughs> I have got to have a baby to snuggle and hug. Um... We are here for two different events. One is Sunshine Reborn Sunshine Yellow Saturday. It's been a while since, I think, since I have actually participated in my own hashtag, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, seems like things has been coming up and I haven't been able to do it on Saturday. Saturday and Sundays is kind of a tricky day for me to get a video in. So even if I don't get a video in for a few Saturdays, y'all continue with uh, the theme. I will jump in as I can, guys. I can only do as I can do. <laughs> and I have got to learn that. But um, I'm going to put this little yellow outfit on her. Uh, which is a starling baby. It's a three month and if you've watched my previous video You know where this came from and Actually the second event or theme that we're going to be doing today is And I may change the name of this guys. I still haven't heard from Cassandra um, but as of right now, I'm calling it the um, sand sand series that I'm going to be doing and it'll be, just be random days that I put up a video and have in it hashtag sand sand series and what that is is where I am personally myself uh, there's no particular theme no particular size no whatever I am uh, featuring all the beautiful clothes that Cassandra gifted my babies. And uh, I will be, there are so many of the clothes that I'm afraid if I put them away into their designated drawers right now, and I go digging for certain themes and things like that, that they, they will get mixed up and I will forget to feature one or two of them or more. And I don't want that to happen. I want to actually put these clothes on my babies. And uh, then, like I said, there's no, uh, she's gifted me all different sizes. So different babies will be featuring the, um, the clothing, but it will always have hashtag Sand Sand Series episode whatever. This is episode one, and uh, that way I won't 
because I definitely want to give credit at least one time, which I've gave credit one time already by opening the the box and telling, you know, who I, who gave it to me. But as I put the items on the babies, the clothing items on the babies, I want to at least one time give credit where credit's due. So, um, what I'll do, like I said, is have the series. I am not putting the clothes away, like I said, into their designated drawers yet. I have them in a pile over on a rack. And uh, when it's time to do another Sand Sand series, I will pick one of those items. And whatever size it is, I will pick a baby that can wear it. And uh, I will feature the baby, I mean the clothes, the baby wearing the clothes and telling who it's from. Now I'm not sure this cap's gonna fit her with all this hair, but we're gonna see because I definitely want her to wear it. And we're gonna pull some curls out, look at there. <laughs> her so cute, guys. Look at mama, sweet little April. <laughs> Look at Mama's sweet little April. It does fit her. Oh, it fits my baby. But Mama's got it crooked. Mama's got it crooked. Let's see if I can get it. Now then. Now then. Look at my baby. Look at my baby. Now, I had a hair bow on a uh, headband on her from the, the outfit I just took off that was brown and if the hat hadn't a fit I was going to put this back on her because it goes perfect with her passy clip I don't remember where I got this passy clip I'm sure someone gifted it to me but see like I said once I put it away I forget who gives me what and then I can't give them credit so that's why when someone gives me something I'm going to start putting it aside and uh, going ahead, you know, and, and however many items it is, have, you know, videos featuring those clothes so I can give credit to the person who sent it to me at least that one time. And then after that, when I put it away, I'm sure I'll never remember again. I mean, you know, it'll probably pop into my mind different occasions and things like that and certain outfits, but you know, over a period of time, and when you get them all mixed up with other clothing, you tend to forget who gave you what. And uh, so that's why I'm going to start doing this with anyone that uh, gives me outfits. I wished I'd have thought about it when um, uh, is her name Sandra? Not Cassandra, but Sandra from Reborn's Frozen in Time Nursery. If I'm not mistaken, that's her YouTube channel. Guys, I am so bad with names. I'm sorry. But she has gifted me uh, clothing items several times. And this last time, I did kind of put them up on a shelf and so I could remember. And I still have a couple of items that I haven't put on babies yet. And I've been trying to give her uh, shout-outs when I would put those clothing on some of my babies, but I didn't think about it as doing it like in a series like I'm doing now. I just thought of that um, with this package it came in. So that's what I'm going to start doing with any items that anyone sends me. I'm going to put them together on a shelf where I'll know who gave me those items, and I'm going to use those clothing to put on my babies and that way I can give uh, the person credit at least that first time that I put it on the babies. So that's what I'm going to start doing. Um, so y'all be sure to go check out um, Sans Sans Babies. I will end the title at where I have her name. You'll be able to click on her name and go right to her channel. Uh, she is awesome, guys. She has awesome videos. Um... She's a great friend, and I want to say thank you again one more time, Cassandra, for all of these wonderful gifts. This fits my baby, April, so 
cute, so cute, so cute. It fits her perfectly. But I put her little passy clip. The passy clip is has um, blue and gold beads on it. And I gave her a little orange trimmed passy. Uh, as you can see, she can't really suck it. Well, naturally she can't, but I'm talking about I can't put it up to her mouth. I personally don't use, let me see if I can say this right. I use them for props or like for quick pictures that I'll put the passy in a baby's mouth. So I do have the magnetic pacifiers and I still use them, but to just put them and leave them there, I don't. And I've got to wear just recently, I like the idea of since I don't put them there and leave them there because I love to see their pretty little faces. I don't like their face covered up with the passy. I love to see their faces. So I've thought lately about getting me several pretty pacifiers that, you know, all different shapes and all different um, varieties and has different pictures and things on it and not modify them. Leave them as a full pacifier to use just as you know, props like this, just, you know, she don't, it could be a time that she's just not wanting her passy right now, but it's a full pacifier, you know, you don't have to worry about keeping them, the modified part down, you know, and stuff like that for realism. This, you know, it's realistic. So, that's what I've decided to do. Now, she does have a magnet, so if I decide that I want to put a passy up there, I will get one of my magnetic pacifiers and put on her mouth. But for display, for, you know, for looks, for a prop, I like to use the full passes. So I have very few full passes because I've always either bought the modified ones or bought the already made for dolls with magnets in it or, uh, you know, things like that, modified them myself, whatever. Uh, so I have few that's full passes. But I am going to get me some more to have for just for props. So I think that's cute. All right, guys. I can't do very much because I am still weak. And like I said, if I talk too much or I exert too much, I get to feeling really bad. So uh, I did want to do this video for hashtag Reborn Sunshine Yellow Saturday. And hashtag San San series episode one all right guys i hope you all enjoyed this video and i hope you all have a great rest of your day i will talk with you later bye